Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Now today our Sistema instructor, Lauren Clements, takes us through an absolute martial art, arrest and control classic, The Underhook. In this video he talks about the importance of getting close to your partner, uh, reiterates the need to be able to put tension and strength into the connecting arm while still keeping the rest of the body relaxed and engage with your partner's center and be able to track their movement. Now there's lots going on in this. I think there's some fantastic information. Um, Lauren has used this in his previous career as a policeman, so he speaks from experience. And I think this is absolutely something that we should all have in our repertoires. As always, if you like what the channel's doing, doesn't cost you anything, smash the stuff below, consider subscribing and thank you for watching. Okay, so now we're gonna just work on the, the hold. Okay, this is called, uh, this is an underhook. I am underneath his armpit, hooking up onto his shoulder. Okay, and there's a couple different ways we can do that, okay? Um, the first one we're gonna look at is trying to keep your body and your arm nice and close here. Yeah, so I'm taking good control, okay? Um, my knees and my hips need to be nice and soft, so I'm not up in my legs, where it's easy for him to start to walk away from me, and he pulls me along and I tumble over. I want to be heavy here. I finally managed to get him uh, under my control a little bit. I want to start to be a burden to over here. near. Start to make it a bit where he's got to carry my weight if he wants to walk with me. It's not through tension, I'm not stiff here. Because he starts to move nice and quickly, I'll be real stiff. Go. That's how you keep his rag dolls me around. So I want to be nice and heavy, he starts to move. Now he's fighting gravity and my weight. It's really great for me. Okay. So that's all we're going to do here. Once in a while, you switch sides. You're coming underneath your armpit, hooking up and over. And there's different ways we can do it. I'll show you a little bit of the knee here. Initially, what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep our elbow nice and close to us because I don't want him coming underneath and starting to wrench into my own arm, where I essentially have locked myself. So I close down those avenues. Nice and heavy. Doesn't need to be fast. He's going to keep his head up. Shouldn't be undue pressure on any of your joints here. If there is, tell them to slow down a little bit. Lighten up the contact a little bit. Just trying to stay glued with them. If I'm not relaxed in my stepping again, go. Look, I'm, I'm gone. Okay? Now I'm playing catch up. So I'm nice and relaxed in my stepping here. So I can stay with them. Someone kind of the same, um, okay. If you start to feel, if I start to feel that Theodore's starting to move, create some distance here, it's not like oh, I don't go to my muscles and try to muscle him back here. Just look at this, that's my puny little arm fighting his whole body here. What I want to turn it into is that I feel that gap coming and I close it by stepping closer to him. I put my hips up closer to him. Look at that now, there's more control here. Before he's getting into a place where he can start to wrench into me if he wants to. I'm like, no, I don't want that. So I put myself nice and close to him. Which later on starts to give us access to his body. And some control. Yeah. So rather than pull, 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 pull. Make it easy on yourself and step towards him. Okay? Go a bit long. Okay, the, the other version that we'll do, you know, this uh, there's good questions coming from Jason here, you know, about angles and things like that. We, we need to think about these techniques. This is like a, a coloring book. Yeah, you open it up and it's got outlines. Yeah, depending on who you are, will depend on the color choice that you use with your in your coloring book. Um, uh, whether you're going to stay in the lines and be very precise. Yeah. Or you're just going to be like some kids you look at and they're just like, ah, and they don't really care about the outlines. We're just working with an outline here, okay? This can evolve and change and be organic as we need it to be, okay? We're not, um, this is not steadfast, it needs to be like this, it needs to be like this. You have to feel it, because I imagine if you did it with each person in this room, you're probably going to have to shift and change your body and change the form of your body, slightly different for each person, slightly different for the 
the resistance that you're feeling? Are they strong here? Are they flexible? Working with really flexible, there's a couple of really flexible guys in my class. This is very difficult work to do with them because it's like, it's like wrestling at an eel. They just seem to pop out of everything. The bigger guys, it's a little bit easier because they're a bit more blocky. Okay? We're going to do another version here. So that version was about tucking in. This version we're going to look at lifting upwards. Okay? So same idea, you're reaching underneath, you're coming in through here, okay? But what I want to do is rather than tucking in here, I want to start to lift this up. If I can, I turn my hand over a little bit. Okay, I could even put it on the side of his face. Okay, because that'll start to lead into things like work and hold him in space and start to hit him with my other hand here. But I want to, the ideal here is to try to lock this because I want his spine. I don't want his arm. Yeah, that's just like uh, the cherry on the cake. Yeah, I want to get to the cake. When I'm in here, he's going to be nice and strong for me. And I start to lift up. Yeah, he starts to walk with me. He starts to walk me around a bit. Take, trying to take control of me. And I'm trying to get into him here. Okay? What I do with my other hand is up to me. Don't worry about it too much. I'm just try and keep it nice and relaxed here. Yeah, and he's pushing down pretty hard here. Um, look, my voice is straining. It's not like I'm using my muscles to do this. I'm going to lift you up. Now we've got a big arm wrestle on our hands. I'm using the structure in my body to lift up through there. I'm engaging all these muscles here. Boom, boom, boom. So lifting up. Come in here and I've lifted. Which works really great if I want to start dragging him downwards. And that's a good place to be. Okay? Breaking his structure. Bringing him close to my weapons here. Taking his legs up. Working into trips, working into control, restraint. Okay, so it's nice and fun to work, it's nice and playful. Now you're not doing this, now you're starting to wing your arm out. Okay, this is an important thing at the end of that, your thumb needs to be downwards. It probably shouldn't be sticking out because it'll get caught up close. This is pretty, this is a, a very common movement in martial arts. Is very small. Okay. That's what you're looking for now. Same partners. Okay. Okay. So with that one, as I'm coming through here, and I'm lifting up here, some people will keep this nice and relaxed, but some people will just start to, they're like, oh, he's, he's bringing my hand up, and I'm going to take a hold of his neck. So I'm going to start to wing him up here. I look at that gap, and I go, holy oh, smokes, that's a good place for me to be. I get around the back of him. Okay, that's what you're looking at now. Anytime that you, and you should be doing this nice and slowly, you're coming through, maybe you're trying for a bit of control here, he's too strong, he starts lifting up, and I feel it happening on the ground and back. Okay? Taking control here. That's all we're looking for. Theodore's going to do it. He's going to come into his other hook. He's like, oh boy. <coughs> Wrong back. Seat belt. This is the idea for your seat belt. Hands are in the middle here, one under, one over, and then he just acts like a backpack here, and he relaxes. Oh. Yeah, I've got all this weight now. So he's just being as relaxed as he can, but he is now burdened to me, and I am carrying his weight around. Not good for me, it's great for him. The caveat to that is once you get this in nice and tight, your arms do not relax here. Your body can be relaxed. But I shouldn't be doing this. Start up nice and tight. And as I relax, I've got all these spaces that start opening up. I want to put weights into it. I am pulling my hands close to me. I'm trying to do this with my hands. Yeah. And then I'm going like this. Pull this in. Now I start putting pressure on him. Now I'm going to relax my legs a little bit. He starts to struggle. Okay. So let's walk it through nice and slowly. Coming through. He starts to raise up. You're like, oh geez, it's coming in from my neck. I duck myself under, hand in hunt, hand across the top, and you seat belly him. Safety first. Especially for me. I'm not too worried about him. Okay. Same partners, just have another go.